Ashton, um, you played like it was just another game of cricket, so you would enjoy yourself. Did you feel like it was a test match or it was just another game of cricket? Well, well, Darren Lehman's just told me to bat the way and I had a bat. Um, and he's, you know, he's told the whole team really to bat the, in their own natural styles and that, that's the way I like to bat, so that's what I tried to do, take the game on. Ollie? Um, I suppose that you done this for, um, well, you've played some pretty important wins for WA before as well. Um, so to be at number 11, was that kind of a new experience for you? Oh, like you said, I've, I've done it before um, in Queensland. Uh, I had to bat at number 11 and was fortunate enough to get 50. Um, so I, you know, I was lucky to have a really good partner at the other end in Phil Hughes, who's a seriously, seriously good player. Um, and he really helped me through it. Um, it's not normal for an English crowd to want an Australian to make 100, but when you, when you dropped two runs short, were you aware of a, a note of sympathy around the place for you? Yeah, <laughs> I was surprised by the support I was getting from the whole crowd, really. Um, they were very supportive and yeah, there was a little bit of sympathy from them, but it, it was nice to get 98. Are there any, uh, are there any uh, dreams that have left for you after, after the day? Like it was, it was pretty much beyond, yeah, beyond the usual. But... Yeah, it was a little bit out of the ordinary, I guess. Um, obviously it's a dream to make a Test Match 100, but I didn't really dream I was going to make 98 in debut, so I'm, I'm very, very happy. Ashton, were you aware of, of Timo Best doing something similar, or in a, a different way against England last year? Was it something you knew about? Uh, no, no, I wasn't thinking about that at all, to be honest. But I have heard a little bit about it, but yeah, I wasn't really thinking about it. Ashton, did you sort of grow up watching Ashes and great Ashes moments, and were you aware that perhaps you were kind of making history as you were going on? Then? Yeah, uh, well, one of my favourite Ashes moments was you know Steve War. Um, hitting you know four runs of the last ball of the day to make his hundred and yeah well to make a hundred in ashes test would have been awesome but like i said i'm pretty happy uh, following on from the dream question of that mm -hmm. uh, you were brought into the side to take wickets primarily mm -hmm. uh, you haven't got one yet how much will this how much does this take the edge off that first wicket what you've achieved today uh, not a lot um, because I've been put into the side to take wickets, I'm still very, very hungry for that first wicket. Um, you know, and I, I sort of consider myself a bowling all-rounder. I like to think I'm a bowling all-rounder. Um, but to get that wicket will be an extra special moment. Where and when did you last make 100? Uh, I made 100 in the, uh, the last grade season that's gone past uh, for University of Western Australia in our grade competition. Where were you batting that day? Uh, I think I was batting seven. Uh, Ashton, can you talk us through that last ball? Mm -hmm. Did you think you hit it well? Did you think it was going past the field? Can you talk us through what you were thinking? Yeah, I probably hit it a bit too well. Um, I tried it, I, All the other ones I've sort of been hitting up and over the top, and I sort of tried to come down a little bit on that one and picked him up perfectly. But yeah, so I probably could have made a better decision there. But What did you feel on. like as a colleague? Oh, didn't really feel a lot. I was, I was still pretty happy. Um, pretty happy that uh, me and Husey were able to get the boys into a bit of a lead, um, which will help us set up the game, I think. Um, as soon as you walked out there, knowing it was 9 for 117 situation, you were in, you had to sort of get your head around handling that situation, and then when you had that close stumping call as well, how did you settle yourself down again? Um, me and Husey talked about it and we were just going about it ball by ball, um, taking each ball as one moment and you know, forgetting about the rest. Um, and then we started to get a partnership together and we just kept trying to build from there ball by ball. We kept saying to each other. So that's, yeah, that's how we went about it the whole time. Did, did you feel like you were back in your crease? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say I was, felt I was, like I was just back in my crease. Um, you know, obviously that's out of my control so I couldn't do anything about it. Do you feel like one of the things, or one of the things that you've done for that in that partnership is sort of give the team a, a, a foothold in the in the game, the series from a you know, position where you could have been, well, you could have been in a very dark position. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. So um, to do that with Husey, I think, has 
you know, helped me a lot in terms of mentally getting around batting in a test match and, you know, hopefully help put the team in a winning position. What sort of things did he say about that? He, he just said, just keep watching the ball hard and just keep playing it ball by ball. And that's all I needed to do and that's all we were really thinking of. Just did keeping it really simple. So. Something looked very close uh, on the screen. Mm -hmm. Did the one player say anything to you when you were given not Uh No, no, they didn't say a word to me. Ashton, uh, you, your family had a mad scramble to get around the globe and get here in time, and, but you must feel like you've repaid them with, the, with that knob. Yeah, they, they, were, the <laughs> they were on a plane straight away um, once they found the news out. Um, and to have them there today made that not extra special for me. Um, made a half century against English opposition back in May, I think, for Henley. Can you compare the the attack you scored runs off that day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't the same. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it there. Who was better? <laughs> <laughs> no, England's better. Yeah, you, you had to keep uh, your selection secret for two days. Yeah. How, how hard was that? Oh, all I really wanted to tell was my family. So. Uh, once once I got to tell them, it was it was pretty easy. But there was a lot of excitement, so I can understand why you say that. Ashton, apart from your snapping chance, I mean, you took to be at ease there throughout the whole innings. Were you in like a zone, so to speak? Um, I think I, I like to keep myself fairly relaxed, um, and I don't get too nervous when I bat. Um, and yeah, and just I just try to play freely. So um, you know, when I'm sort of hitting the ball well, I just try and keep doing that throughout my innings and not change too much. Um, Ashton, you've played a lot of great shots out there. Are there any favourites? Um, yeah, I'd say uh, six I hit over wide, long on, off Graham Swan. Definitely my favourite. Actually, if you have a choice now of taking five shots in the innings or scoring 100, which would you prefer? I'd like either one, but uh, it'll be nice to take five for now. Now that I didn't get 100, I'd, I'd take the five for. Ashton, did any of the, um, I think there was some suggestion that a couple of the English players came over to, to congratulate, stroke, commiserate with you as you were walking off after, after your uh, innings, is that true? Yeah, yeah, our Graham Swan came up and shook my hand, um, you know, which was great, so he was very good about it. What did he say to you? He said, well done, young fella. He said, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ashton, where do you think the balance of power lies now? Do you think I think if we can get a, if we can break the partnership, the power would definitely be in our hands. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good wicket, um, especially to play the quicks on. So, uh, and there's a lot of time left in the game. So, <clears throat> if we can get through them tomorrow, I think we can win this game. So, Matt, will you be pushing to move up the order in the second year? <laughs> That's in the coach's hands, but yeah, possibly. I guess it's a possibility now. Nice. Uh, Ashton, I don't know if you're aware of it. Commotion you've caused back in Australia and on <laughs> Twitter. Um, I've read it. Some Hugh Jackman being <coughs> back in. People calling you the Prime Minister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People have been drinking anger bombs. And it's a hashtag. So you've basically taken over Twitter. I mean, um, you wouldn't have had a chance to take that in, but do you feel like that this is a bit of a possibly a life changing moment? What do you make of it? Yeah, it could be. It's just. It's a dream come true, really. That's <clears throat> that's what it is to me. I've, you know, forever I've dreamt of playing Test cricket for Australia, and um, for my debut to start the way it has, you know, I'm over the moon. I'm very happy. Chuckle. Just for me, growing up, was cricket always the number one? I think you were also a good footballer, and was there ever a chance that you might do other sports? And, and when did, did you actually decide to concentrate on cricket? Oh, cricket was always the number one. That was always the dream. I did play a bit of junior footy, um, but everyone grew a lot quicker than I did. So I was this sort of little fat kid getting smashed around. So I thought I'd <laughs> give that a break. Um, and then cricket sort of took off. So yeah, cricket's always been the number one. Last question. Ashton, a lot of people were saying it was tragic that you didn't make 100. I thought it was bloody brilliant that you made 98. How do you see it? Exactly the way you said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly the same. I'm, I'm super happy, and I was happy that you know me and Husey could get the team into some sort of winning position.